El ser. Pasamos al turno de otros oradores. Dos minutos, el señor Kukan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Commissioner, Madam Minister. I would like to welcome and appreciate this opportunity to discuss the Kurdish issue today. In my opinion, it's important to support fully all the initiatives which lead to the reopening the dialogue and possible road to peaceful solution for the Kurds in the region. Latest steps made by the Turkish government party aiming to resume and have talks with Öcalan and promoting peace dialogue could be a good start on this road. It is true that there have, has been for a long time a lack of comprehension about the Kurdish issue in Turkey. Therefore, I hope that it will be possible to sustain general consensus among leading parties on the dialogue and possibly get other political forces involved. There is a very similar challenge for the other side as well. In order to build trust in the process, the Kurdish parties, parties and fractions should be on board and lay down arms. Moreover, with the latest developments in Syria and escalating political tensions in the northern Iraq in Arbil province, it is vital that Turkey seeks the political solution. It is important to stop any violence, especially against civilians, as the most important goal at this moment. It is obvious that especially Syria and Iran might not be comfortable with a stronger Turkey in the region. These two countries in the past have used the PKK to destabilize, destabilize Turkey. I believe that peaceful solution of the Kurdish issue could make Turkey only more powerful in the region, and I think that this is also in the interest of the European Union. Thank you. Gracias, señor Kukan. Tiene la palabra por dos minutos la señora Copa. Ευχαριστώ, κύριε Πρόεδρε. Για να εξετάσουμε το κουρδικό πρόβλημα, πρέπει να δούμε συνολικά την κατάσταση των ανθρωπίνων δικαιωμάτων στην Τουρκία, γιατί είναι ένα αναπόσπαστο κομμάτι τη. Μετά από τόσα χρόνια, είναι αναμφισβήτητο ότι πρέπει να δοθεί τέλο.